We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you worship, worship, the loudest praise to the King. We give you the highest, the highest praise to the King. We give you the loudest. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We bow down, Lord, we bow down, the highest praise to the King. You have taken all the glory, you have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all the pain. You have taken all the shame. You have taken all the troubles. You have taken all limitations. You have made them yours. Spirit, we cry tonight that you open our eyes yet again. Give us the keys of the kingdom. Open our minds. Open our understandings. Let us comprehend the mystery that you have committed unto us tonight. And Lord, let these keys give us power. Let these keys give us authority. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a while, a few minutes, and we're back on our feet. Mm. Hallelujah. Seven days of encounter. The Bible says, and the Lord appeared to Samuel at Shiloh through his word. The Lord appeared through his word. The Lord gives encounters by granting people access to mysteries hallelujah tonight we're going to consider a very deep mystery i don't know if we'll be able to finish it tonight but wherever we stop we'll take it tomorrow from home the lord told me beginning from today right until thursday there will be massive angelic activities it's what the lord told me people will receive literal visitations literal visitations of angels visitations of angels prayer lives coming alive mantles fire the coal from heaven being put upon people there are ministries that will be birthed from these seven days visions 
people that will be, the Lord will tap you to begin to write things destiny issues these are issues that will shape the understandings of people hallelujah it was while Daniel was fasting and after 21 days the Bible says the angel said I was sent to come and give you understanding I was sent to bring what I brought is called understanding hallelujah We reign in this kingdom on the strength of the mysteries that we know. A mystery is simply a hidden code of operation. There are certain things that are not given to mere men. It says it has been given to you to know. The Bible calls them the secrets. Jesus called them the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Grant us grace. In the name of Jesus. Please listen carefully we are going to pray we have prayed that's why we have some sessions to pray before i come up just be patient just just flow gently elijah and i want you to listen overflow one two three because what i'm going to share tonight is going to open your eyes to many things i know some of you are yet to understand yesterday's teaching but you just follow that's why the teachings are uploaded for you to listen hallelujah tonight i'm sharing a very very deep deep mystery the mystery of the serpent and the woman write it down hmm. the mystery of the serpent and the woman genesis chapter 3 please we look to yahweh yahweh I hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. You are the source of our light. Forever, Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. My hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, I look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever, Yahweh. Genesis chapter 3 please sit down i'd like us to look at scripture for a few minutes and let 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 the lord open our eyes to a very deep mystery this was after man fell the bible says that the lord they had the voice of god walking in the cool of the day please follow me carefully and then the bible says that he he came to man adam now and said adam where are you where are you the first question was was he missing that means god kept there was a position in the spirit where god could always see him from heaven are we together and god found out that seat was vacant and he said adam where are you and adam said i heard your voice but i hid because i was naked remember our teaching yesterday that satan dominates men by transferring an information and he said who told you where did you hear this from i never gave you that information you allowed a stranger to give you an information and then he said the woman this is where my teaching starts the mystery of the serpent and the woman he said the woman you gave me is the cause of my problem and he said woman what is this that you have done and then she replied back she said the serpent there was a stranger that always visited me he never caught me but he kept telling me things and on the strength of the information he gave me he beguiled me and he turned to the serpent and he caused the serpent now let's follow he said listen now this is god speaking not angel michael not angel gabriel god your god he said i will put enmity between thee who is the thee the serpent and the woman then he says 
now listen so case one is that you and the woman will be enemies we can take that but please read carefully it says i'm between thy seed whose seed your offspring your descendants and her descendants this enmity is not just you and the woman serpent you are going to reproduce yourself and have a generation and those people they will coexist in the same territory it says this enmity will not only be between you and the woman are we together now your seed and her seed and he said he shall bruise thy head and you shall bruise his heel this is god speaking now watch this have you seen the child of satan anywhere remember he's not talking about those possessed this is not demon possession here he's talking of people who were giving birth to an offspring <laughs> i will put enmity between you and the woman listen let me tell you something the first thing i want to tell you here is that if you are a woman a lady just for being a woman there is a war on your life whether you are a baby woman or old woman or adult woman there is there is a vendetta between satan and women and i will show you women are not just figures with wombs there is there is a deep mystery about them follow me carefully so this is god speaking i will put enmity between you and the woman and then between her seed of course we know theologically speaking that that seed is christ but it's not just christ alone because christ came as a person and there is an implication just like the seed of abraham being christ galatians 3 29 says and if he be christ then are ye abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise so we're talking about something that is both prophetic here are we together now question where is the seed of satan that means on this earth there are several kinds of people we claim there are 7.2 billion people on the earth human beings we are so wrong because there are people on this earth that are descendants of the serpent satan are not they are not possessed salvation is not for them because salvation is for men these people we are not talking of evangelism i'm born again <laughs> are we together that in your earth now your territory there are people just the same way satan cannot receive salvation the same way satan can't be saved can't be born again there is a descendant there is a generation of a species of people not in the spirit not in planet mass not in pluto on earth now they walk around your environment but they are not humans just follow me it is not hidden in the bible that we are not alone from genesis to revelation you see that there has been an interference human beings have at several points encountered angels encountered jesus is that true encountered spirits if you listen some of you if you understand what i'm saying before i finish talking you will see that certain diseases will just leave this thing is an old story just follow me are we together now theologically speaking give us genesis chapter 6 those of us who have god has granted grace to do a little study you would have learned hallelujah the bible says it came to pass look up please when men began to multiply remember 
multiply was a command God gave men so men were doing what was correct men began to multiply how through reproduction so it is all right for a man to impregnate a woman and have a child God designed it that way are we together now listen carefully and then the Bible says daughters were born unto them next verse that the sons of God now hold on carefully that there were a group of people who were watching what was going on on earth where men were reproducing and multiplying the Bible calls them sons of God this translation in itself is an error because it has created problem in the body of Christ are we together because people think these sons of God is the same that Jesus says as many as received him I hope you know that the translation of the Bible was not done by angels it was done by human beings with their imperfections who were also influenced at several it is the potency of the scripture that is unbendable but the the linguistic of it you need the Spirit of God if not by itself it can deceive you because human beings wrote it down are we okay now the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were fair so whoever this group of people are we know they are not men do we agree look at it the Bible says those whoever they are that they saw on earth that they were a group of women the word fair there just means they were beautiful so these people had emotions they could see a beautiful woman and be attracted to her are we together now and then the Bible says and they took them wives of all that they chose question do you think the women will see a beast waving his hands sister if I came to you with wings and drop with light flashing and I say I love you wouldn't you run the Bible says they took wives it didn't say they raped them there was something Satan told the women those descendants and made them follow and became wives and then the Bible says the Lord said my spirit and all of that go to verse 4 and then he says there were giants in the earth he's now telling us the products of this union between these entities and the daughters of men that there were giants in the earth in those days and after that he said when the sons of God came into the daughters of men they bear what please talk to me children now children is a human term you don't use children for angels you don't use children for all of this so something had happened between these spirits and these women and the result is physical children just like your child are you seeing that now and the Bible says the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown stop where are these children today giants are just a side effect but that's, that's not the only thing the union produced because the Bible says they were children are we together the word sons of God there he gave birth theologically speaking many of you have studied it one of the class of these offsprings were called the Nephilims are we together now yes the Nephilims here talk about that aberration the, the original word Nephilim means the fallen ones are we together now rebels that were a product of this union and the Bible says they gave birth to physical children meaning you would see them and say good morning sir you would think it's just another human and another human but the Bible says these people you see are not pure human beings this bet did not happen in heaven now there are many theologians I don't want to waste our time tonight but this has been an argument between teachers of the gospel for many years that it cannot have been angels why because two scriptures that the Bible says to none of the angels did he say thou art my son I told you there is a mistake the word there is benign Elohim the word that is translated there is not just the word son like an offspring of a person I hope you know that Lucifer was not the first to throw down angels there have been angels that have fallen but it was not under Lucifer's leadership (laughs) 
there are angels that are bound in chains now that Lucifer has nothing to do with they are not his offspring he was not the cause but they fell the lake of fire did not start now it's been there it's a system of God's justice angels have their wills they can choose to rebel are you listening to me now please understand what I'm teaching you and then the Bible says these men came come and got wives the women I don't know whether they thought they were marrying human beings or marrying whatever but one thing the Bible tells us clearly is that the children that came from these women were strange now listen carefully and then the Bible tells us go to verse 5 let me see where we can stop and God saw notice the mention of wickedness happened the moment these offsprings came listen listen men were already bad but the wickedness did not touch God but when these angels mixed with a human race the offspring that came they came with a level of wickedness that a pure human being cannot produce that is true that men fell but it was not so wicked hear what the Bible says that God saw that the wickedness of man now was great in the earth and every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually these guys had done something to the race and hear what God said God oh your God and it repented God that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him in his heart what kind of wickedness did these nephilim introduce that made things so bad listen you look at our world today and see certain levels of wickedness and inhuman activity a human being cannot do it have you seen where there is an accident and you see people it's not whether they are christians or muslims they run to help the person those are men because no matter their differences they still have that sense of sympathy but there are men whose behavior is not human <laughs> so we're discussing something here that is a very very serious subject that he said woman there will be something between you and this serpent you are going to have offsprings christ being the chiefest of them but make no mistake this guy you see is going to find a way of bringing an offspring too so eventually it will be a clash of offsprings that satan has his own offsprings on earth <laughs> the angels that did not keep their original estate and they came down when angels came and visited abraham abraham's wife made physical food please talk to me is that true did the angels not eat it they ate it they swallowed it it entered their body it's only because the bible said they were angels that's why we know if we just saw them in a drama we think they were human beings but they ate are we together a lot of people say spirits and angels cannot give birth they can't produce that's an error how did mary get pregnant when angel gabriel came to mary and he said you are highly favored madam you are going to be pregnant she said no 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 no. i was not taught this way it is impossible to be pregnant without a human man and the angel said let me tell you there is something that is a reality in the realm of the spirit the a spirit can come upon you and then you will have a physical child not a spiritual child a spirit in this case is the holy ghost but it's a character that is possible with all spirits that it can come upon you and without a man hold on but the seed that that spirit puts is still compatible with your womb and it can give birth to something else are we together now so satan hears that instruction and then the bible leaves a very serious gap that i'm not going to discuss this night and all of a sudden all that the bible tells us is that eve became pregnant 
and then gave birth to Cain. Follow me carefully. And then she gave birth to Abel. And we see two people come up and we see a behavior that was not in Adam, was not in Eve. Are we together now? We see Cain manifesting a strange behavior and he kills his brother Abel. Notice from Genesis, there is nowhere in the Bible where the genealogy is given and you hear Cain and Abel mentioned again. Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. Where did they throw Cain and Abel? Were they not children too? It's not for tonight's discussion. But there is a long story about that Cain and Abel, you see. Because Paul borrowed that story in the book of Romans to teach about the man of the spirit and the man of the flesh. Are we together? Paul said, just like a woman, just like Eve was pregnant, there are two people walking in me. One man is the spirit so that I serve the Lord with my spirit. But I see another law. Like a woman carrying children. And all of them are behaving as though they came from different men. The fallen ones. Give us John chapter 8. Let's hear something that Jesus is saying. From verse 43. John chapter 8. If you are a Christian, just look up. John chapter 8. Jesus now comes many years later. And he's teaching us why do ye not understand my speech this is jesus now he says even because ye cannot hear my word who is this talking to he's talking to a group of people who are making his ministry difficult some of them were scribes some of them were pharisees remember we're talking about the offsprings listen carefully jesus shows up and the people opposing him are not the prostitutes the people opposing him are not the drunkards. There was a group of people with unusual influence. Remember yesterday I taught you that Satan called Jesus and said, don't bother. All the people in position are mine. I own this system. Now, these guys are making life difficult. Please read for me what Jesus says. One to read. Stop. You are of who? Who is talking now? What did Jesus call the Pharisees and the Sadducees? He said, you are offsprings. I look at you and I see your behavior. You guys are not humans. You look like you are humans. You are of your father, the devil. He's not just saying you are listening to Satan. Like I look at Pastor Alpha's son and I say, ah, this is Pastor Alpha's son. And he looked and discerned. He said, you are among men carrying a regalia in the temple moving around like priests but i look at you you guys are not pure human beings the real human being among them broke his pride and came to jesus by night and said rabbi i'm too i, I can't hide it this thing is touching me but there were some hardened guys they were just moving it didn't matter what jesus did you are of your father the devil and the lost desires of your father you will do are you seeing that now so they are not in that temple to please god they were sent on assignment although wearing a priestly regalia look we are discussing the bible now is there anything i'm saying that is not in the bible you are not here as human beings just raising children and being a nice father you are on assignment and the lust of your father he will do then he gave them an information for them to know he knew what he was saying why will jesus tell them this extra information if they didn't know anything about it he said he was a murderer he took them back he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaks so satan is a speaking spirit it's not only god he said he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it give us 45 and because i tell you the truth ye believe me not jesus meets a group of people he kept studying their behavior 
and looking at them and saying no are you not seeing how heartless these people are that for 18 years a woman was too bound is it not in your bible crying every day for 18 years yet these guys were in the temple and the day jesus comes and heals her everybody is happy except this group of people they say what is the meaning of this and jesus said ah what sort of people are you this heart a human being cannot have it ah. there are some of the people in our villages that we think are just relatives they have manifested characteristics that human beings cannot be the ones having there is a way a man speaks you will know that this is not demon possession this one is a species that is not even jesus was not a pure human being even jesus was not a pure human being yet he moved with the disciples he slept with them he got up in the morning and he looked at them and at a point he surprised them before your father abraham was i am 33 years ah, ah. they said don't, don't play with our intelligence here he said continue your rubbish i'm telling you this when the demons saw him they said no 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 jesus have you come to destroy us before our time jesus said be silent look at how they were talking you see a 33 year old man and you are talking something ancient and the disciples that's why the disciples got angry they said look you better tell us who you are this thing is paining us now today you are this we are eating bread we know your mother is alive next tomorrow we are seeing something else again remember the bible says mary kept these things to herself so mary did not share with people it was just a scandal that ended that mary was pregnant oh and joseph said he's not the one and after a few years they said well joseph just take it so most people did not know because mary kept it i will put enmity between the serpent and the woman and between his seed and her seed can we look at something else before we pray <laughs> now watch this we have established the fact that a spirit is under constant watch over a woman the most important part of a woman for satan is not her figure it's not her face it's her womb that womb is a serious issue for satan listen carefully so that the next time you see that a woman cannot get pregnant you know that it's not just the issue of the man there is an old story this womb of a woman is a threat to satan because it is the mechanism god designed are we together now yes do you know why the angels came and started sleeping with the daughters of men in an attempt to plant a seed because they thought mary was part of them she thought at least mary has to be among these beautiful women and they started coming at random to have affair with the women every child that was born they studied the prophecy behind him the moment they had something unusual they said attack him so they looked for moses they looked for everybody the moment they heard that there was something unusual when john the baptist was born they kept coming to say who are you john it was the spirit of the antichrist manipulating people they wanted to ask john john kept confusing them who are you john where did you come from we just know that they say you're in the wilderness eating locusts and wild honey are you a human being at all john your father is zachariah yes we know your mother is elizabeth but human beings eat food they eat fish they eat bread what kind of a person are you that you are in the wilderness alone and all you are eating is locusts and wild honey john said i'm the voice of one crying he said what is this one again hmm. that john bar we'll talk about him one day because that john you see the bible says many of you think john was a normal human being no sir a man that was born filled with the spirit it's in your bible and then jesus told them if you can bear it that is elijah you have been looking at he said if, if you have the faith to receive that guy wearing all those things is your elijah this is where the people of our traditional vi our villages 
studied what they call reincarnation it is where they got this aberrated concept that they say people can come back to life and re-manifest having another body hallelujah now listen carefully this generation this generation of God's people have a battle that they do not even realize that they are fighting are we together there is an intentional offspring of Satan that is on rampage to destroy everything that is Christ there are men who are possessed there are men who are manipulated but there are people who are not human beings these ones cannot receive salvation I, you I pray that one day the Holy Spirit will open your eyes to see and believe this thing are you getting what I'm saying now yes when Paul and Barnabas did something extraordinary the people looked at them and said, you guys are not pure human beings they knew they called one Zeus and they called another Hermes they were not surprised this way when you study classical Greek mythology this way these were Greek gods they were also part of these offsprings the Nephilims were not the only people there were many other classifications and let me tell you this there are still those species on earth you have been looking for giants there are some who are not giants but they are devils Satan has made sure that they occupied strategic positions. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You are of the father, the devil. Jesus is talking to the men of God of his days. Who go to church every Sunday and preach to people. Jesus stood and looked and said, no way. Uh -uh. You guys are not just scribes. You are not just Pharisees. I look at you and I see that you are of your father, the devil now let me tell you where this gets serious and where it applies to us tonight we'll still continue i'm just touching this whole thing just to give us do we all agree with me so far i want to explain a few things that will surprise you now the bible lets us know you know that everyone who is born and it is a spirit entity or not a pure human being that child comes with extra characteristics is that true either they are gigantic or some unusual strength or something it has been an age-long experiment that satan wants to corrupt this race because when men become too corrupted god will have to destroy he knows that his time is short are you getting what i'm saying this is what has led to some of the incurable diseases that we have today this the origin of these diseases was not a virus roaming around it's an experiment women where do you find fibroid in a woman's body on her head talk to me the same place where a seed should be a woman goes to bed in the night and a stranger comes watch this she thinks she's dreaming and that stranger is having all kinds of union with her she gets up in the morning knowing that somebody slept with me and then all of a sudden something begins to happen to her system that should not be and if for any reason that fibroid is there and you try to put your seed as a man it will kill it and survive are we together then comes cancer a disease that comes upon you with its own life and starts growing independent of the nutrients of your body because everything that is drawing from your body should grow at the same pace but this one comes with its life multiplies and tries to kill every other good cell you call it unicellular yet it is so intelligent it knows its assignment it breaks down your immune system and destroys you are you getting what i'm saying now and then all of a sudden it happens too 
a man will go to bed in, in the night to sleep and all of a sudden you find out that there are all kinds of unholy union this man will get up knowing that although he went to sleep you know preachers don't talk about this because it looks like an ugly part of uh, this thing but i want to explain to you a mystery and all of a sudden that man gets married and becomes impotent and cannot explain what is going on look at how satan is passionate about seeds jesus explained this in a parable because the people did not have the argument to understand he said there was a man who had seeds and wanted to go to the farm is that true the bible says he planted wheat correct he says while men slept another person who was holding seeds waiting for night to come also came to the same farm that farm is the earth and planted tears among wheat and the bible says he went his way is that true the bible says both seeds grew it didn't say one died both seeds grew and then in the passage of time the people started noticing that these seeds they were all looking green but at this point their characteristics something is different and they came they said sir was it not wheat that you sowed here and then he looked and smiled he said an enemy has come this breed is not pure something someone came to the earth that when men sleep in the night on planet earth there are entities not that they come from mass they move around they enter the dream life of people they come physically and try to sow seeds remember that's all they come to do they don't come to discuss they come to sow seeds and walk away our generation if we don't have intelligence we're in trouble because as at the time the bible was written this experiment had not been advanced to discover fibroid or hepatitis the same way the seed of the woman is growing in advancement this is how satan is experimenting ways of making this corruption effective you don't find fibroid in the bible you don't find hepatitis in the bible because that that level of civilization had not come until one day you find out that that thing you call fibroid now has a head now has a hand now is a human it can come out that thing does not stay for nine months use your brain to think of what it is that after nine months it is not willing to come out hmm. Hmm. there are people today with hiv it's not that they slept anywhere i remember praying for one woman years ago and this woman told me that someone came in the night i've told you who that someone is there is a generation it's not always satan whether they meet you in the realm of the spirit or in the physical it makes no difference came with a syringe and said this syringe is an hiv virus and injected her with it and she woke up in the physical realm and then started getting sick went to the hospital you will look at that woman now and think madam you are not faithful to your husband but that's it that virus the best medicine can do is to administer antiretrovirals but the cause of that thing you see is not human the cause of cancer is not human huh doctors learn this when you understand this you will see miracles in the hospital that will surprise you cancer hiv now you see all kinds of diseases stem up there are all kinds of names and people just know that they found the first person with the disease they don't know where it came from the only thing they can ask the person is where what village are you from they go and study the trees and the plants is there a lion in your village is there a monkey did you ever live with it did you give up forget all those things i'm telling you where this thing came from it comes from the spirit something about this seed of the serpent does something to the womb of a woman does something to the race of men and it will continue to advance until the people who will arise because there is still a prophecy there and this is a prophecy that will be the basis of our prayer the seed of the woman shall bruise shall bruise shall bruise
that the only entity on earth capable of stopping this agenda is whoever proceeds as the seed of that woman are we together now yes so jesus proceeded as that seed but then in him now his offsprings that's why he said in luke 10 19 he said behold i give you power to tread upon i it didn't say upon witches i give you power go back to genesis and see what the power should do to tread. there is an old story serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies why will jesus use serpents and scorpions the disciples understood they never said jesus what is serpent what is scorpion uh -uh. it's not talking about that thing you catch he knew what he was saying he said there is an agenda there is a generation of the serpent anywhere you see them there is an anointing upon you you can crush them the seed of the woman satan has already bruised the heel of the church enough because there are people who have died there are people who have suffered casualties but god is dependent on the seed of the woman to fulfill this prophecy it's a mystery in revelation that mystery was reacted again that a woman was pregnant with a man child and satan left everything that dragon and was waiting to see the child so that he will eat the child and the bible says that that the wind carried the woman to a safe place so she can give birth to that man child safely and that man child is christ and the bible says in galatians 3 29 that if ye be christ's then are ye abraham's seed and heirs heirs part of those who will crush his head Part of those who will crush him in your family listen you will be fooling yourself to imagine there is no representation of that generation in your lineage it, it will be it will be a, a joke and flattery beyond your imagination they are everywhere are we together they don't die fast they don't get old when they are getting old they exchange human beings to elongate their own life they sit down and keep watching the rising of men and the falling they are not human beings if they were possessed we can deliver them and intercede for them let me tell you this there are people you will sit down interceding for their salvation and god will tell you don't waste your time you don't know what species these people are coming from you will think that you didn't hear god well God will say, look, I am telling you this. Don't waste your time. <laughs> Listen, did you notice that Jesus never preached to the scribes and the Pharisees? The only one of them he preached the gospel to was Nicodemus. Why? Every time he met every other person, he spoke to them about the kingdom, the crowds, the kingdom. But when he saw them, it was always insult you brood of vipers it started from john the baptist he never called them human being he said you are vipers what is a viper is it a human being you appear as if you are human beings when he was eating with the people they were always in his crusades yet he never paid i saw the way it disturbed me for a long time how unmerciful jesus was to these people not once did he preach any gospel to any of them destroyers of his ministry every time they saw kindness everybody was happy except them notice they were the only ones who got angry at everything good it was a group of them we are going to pray oh. we are going to pray listen let me tell you i'm not a killer i don't kill but i know that i've been instructed to crush the head of any generation that is not humans if you're offended you can go home come tomorrow i'll talk about favor later on and other things you like but this night if it is to rise ah huh? if it is to rise in power 
power and in life then let me tell you there is a generation it is not repentance it's not oh god touch their heart if they don't repent no there's nothing about repentance there these are not human beings there's no preaching the gospel for salvation are we together when they saw jesus casting out devils they looked at him and said this is beelzebub the prince of demons and he said ah, if you call me beelzebub then by who do your fathers so there were other people casting out spirits by another agency not jesus there were strange people in the bible who were destroyed there were other people that god would go out of his way to preach to but there were others that land there was no salvation are you ready to pray tonight is a very simple prayer if you don't know what to pray just pray in tongues but we are going to pray listen to me listen to me there is a name that the nephilims are called two names that will constitute our prayer tonight one they are called watchers do you know what watchers are ah huh? it is the offspring of this that were called familiar spirits their assignment is to study the growth of people within a territory and make sure that there is a limitation as covenanted they are called watchers not watchmen watchers should i give you an example of those kinds of wicked spirits although in this case he was not one of the nephilims but they called him a madman but that madman went to stay in a strategic cave when jesus was going to the other side the spirit said go and meet him who told the madman jesus was coming as soon as jesus got there here was a madman looking at him and the demons start to speak have you come to destroy us we know you are coming to liberate this territory but we are the watchers over this territory the moment jesus casted them out immediately somebody's business went down immediately and it made them to drive jesus out of town they said jesus leave leave please leave you are making us lose here these spirits number two they are called gatekeepers you know what a gate is is the mystery of access that opens you up to a whether to to healing to grace to anointing there are families whose destiny are under the keys of gatekeepers they are not humans they sit down and manipulate the destinies of families please pray oh when it's time to pray it's a few minutes but pray are we together they are the ones who study all the graduates five people the only person that graduates they now kill him and you will think it's a mistake the gatekeepers but tonight ha, rise up on your feet let's pray let's pray let's pray let's pray and the seed of the woman hallelujah listen the watchers they make sure that the ordinances spoken over territories remain so so they declare over this territory no woman marries a good man why because a good man with her will produce a good child and that child can be an evangelist that will change that land so they are watchers the moment how many of you have seen that somebody just says i love you something happens it's like a report sent in the spirit immediately and something happens immediately i want to give you a job and all of a sudden the watchers lift your voice and begin to blast in the spirit hey, 
Alléluia. Alléluia. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command. I command the sword of vengeance. The sword of vengeance upon every entity. Upon every entity. Manipulating my destiny, manipulating my, destiny. Manipulating my family. Lift your I tell you something is shifting in the spirit. I know Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy. I prophesy over my territory. Over my territory. Over my family. Over my family. Over my loved ones. Over my loved ones. Every gatekeeper. Every gatekeeper. Holding the keys. Holding the keys to their next level. To their next level. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command the gate open now. I command. Of Jesus in the name of Jesus every seed every seed in me in me that is not of Christ that is not of Christ I speak to you I speak to you your time is up your time is up my body now I can't do it. 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 I can't do
what I tell you whether you understand what I'm saying or not the Lord just showed me something now and we're going to pray are we together mm. say in the name of Jesus in the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus every door every, every door, door that has given Satan access that, that has given, given Satan access to visit me to visit me in dreams in in dreams, dreams. And encounters. and encounters in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare that door is closed now. That door is closed now. Voice and pray. Let us 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 pray. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. Something is happening. You will see the testimonies that will come out from tonight's prayer. We are still praying. Listen. They come to you in the night and try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They try to press you. They come as animals. They use the faces of men you know. They are not humans. They are watchers. Yeah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every stranger. Every stranger. Oppressing me at night. Oppressing me at night. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I break your hold over my life. I break your hold of my life. 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 
Just two more prayers and we are done tonight. Listen. Mm. One of the greatest areas, hear me, fire is burning in this place, I tell you. One of the greatest activities of these entities is to stop the gospel from reaching your home. You can preach to others. You can be holding crusades, raising wheelchairs, but if that gospel nears your compound, here they come. They are watchers. You can preach to anyone else, sing to anyone else, but if that thing comes near your compound, are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus I declare. I, I declare that the gospel, that the gospel, gospel of salvation, of salvation, of healing, of healing, of restoration, of restoration, reaches all my loved ones. Reaches all my loved ones right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. This last prayer point, even if you have not prayed anything tonight, I'm going to give you a few minutes to really pray. Are we together? Aside from the gospel, the greatest area of attack of these entities is marriage and family life. Listen to me. If they cannot stop you from settling down, they stop fruitfulness or they plant something in your child you give birth to a child who becomes something else it's not normal we are going to pray listen every sister here when it's time to pray lay your hands on your womb listen and blast in tongues and pray i will not give birth to an entity that is another spirit Lift your voice and Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I decree and declare if there is anyone here having visitations of spirits coming to you in the night molesting you whether as animals as humans male or female i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost i decree and declare let that fire separate you and them right now separate you and them right now separate you and them right now
lift your hands and pray inside. I prophesy over every family tree of which you are part of if there be any seed of Belial any seed kapatata, of the prince of darkness in your lineage in the name of Jesus I call upon the God of Jeshurun and I decree and declare let fire land on that lineage today let fire land on that lineage tonight lift your hands while she pray the altars of impotency the altars of barrenness the altars just keep your hands lifted of poverty the altars of untold hardship that have been programmed in lineage in many lineages represented here right now i decree and declare let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray. Dangerous prayer. Apostle James said that when you want a body to stop functioning, remove the spirit in the body. These entities are combinations of spirits and bodies. There is a strategy for stopping their function. I decree and declare in the name that is above all names that if there is any of those entities please listen i'm praying now i'm seeing fire falling on people that if there is any entity whether in our villages or our homes that is not a pure human sent by darkness right now i cause a separation between their spirits and their bodies Amen. I cause a separation between their spirits and God. I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. your hands let me pray for you if there is anything that your family should have handled today I don't care whether it's position of influence there are some of you where you are with your love for God you should not be at that level now yes, but there is something programming your remaining there can I prophesy a lifting yes, for somebody in the name of Jesus tonight by this grace and unction i declare to you every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now Amen. every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now Amen. therefore i prophesy to you beginning from tonight rise to a level you have never seen rise to a new dimension of influence rise to a new dimension of power hallelujah can i prophesy over your finances yes, sir. do you believe it the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established he said believe in his prophets don't mind this our arrogant generation that will not listen to the word are we together let me tell you something there is something called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of god in the name of jesus i speak to you by this time tomorrow i'm saying it if you have the faith to receive 
I stand in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. By this time tomorrow, may my God surprise you. By this time tomorrow, I prophesy to you, I shift things, I shift wealth to you from the realm of the spirit. I command strangers, I seize their sleep. May they bless you. I instruct them. I set it as an ordinance in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's by the spirit. Listen. You will be surprised at the testimonies you hear tomorrow. Some of you, you will be minding yourself after the grace, just walking home. And before you reach home, you are already crying for joy and saying, what is this? What is this? Listen, if you can receive for your family, I stretch my hands. Some of them think you are wasting your time coming every day. But may my God give them a sign tonight. May my God surprise them with a sign tonight. A sign that will bring them by themselves tomorrow. May my God give them a sign tonight. Listen. Listen, let me tell you something. We're rounding up. You see, before you believe a man, go and find out his track record don't just believe foolishly ask questions this person talking like this as he said it before and what happened the bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers it's not pride it's the truth these seven days was designed to change us listen tomorrow i'm going to give you some instructions huh by friday you are going to carry your documents and the rest and come with it. Let me see the devil. Let me see the principality. Except it is not God that ordained this ministry. You will see what my God will do. There must come a time in your life where God will shift you. If you don't shift, it's your fault. Oh, let me tell you this. Hallelujah. I'm praying over finances. We're rounding up already. I, I didn't plan to talk about this, but the Lord just put it in my spirit. It's not so that you come and so please don't come out here if you don't know what you are doing. Please. It's, it's, not, it's not a ritual. We're not playing games here. But I want to pray for people who can believe. This man you see standing before you by his grace is a steward of the mysteries of God. The Bible says, let every man minister according to the measure of grace. Do you understand? I can look at someone and say, take 10 naira from my pocket. This is me, a man. Talk more the God of heaven. But he's helpless until someone declares. Please, just believe me once. I beg you in the name of Jesus this night. Just be You can insult me if it doesn't happen. But just believe I want to pray again for your finances in the name of Jesus Christ I pray and I ask my God the God who has taken me by his grace the God who took this ministry by his grace I stand before his altar and I program a climate of strange favor over your life I program a climate of strange favor over your life I program a climate don't ask where it will come from you will not see the wind you will not see rain but I program a climate of strange favor over your life
if there is anything anyone has stolen from you i'm prophesying some of you will go back home and find it there nobody brought it in the name of jesus you will go back home and find it waiting for you here in the name of jesus christ we're rounding up father bless your people tonight in the name of jesus please don't fail to testify your testimonies will build the faith of others in the name of jesus christ now please just just a little announcement and we share the grace don't come alone everywhere is already filled we're even praying that god will grant us grace but this is not just there are some of you as i'm praying you know people who are struggling it's, it's not just about finances god has opened a portal over the land to bring people into an experience don't be selfish this is not about ministry this is not a koinonia thing god is opening an opportunity for people to pray that's number one number two when you go back home don't just roam around till evening then you carry your bible and come this mystery pray it you will wake up tomorrow and share with your friends the kind of dreams and encounters you will have tonight some of you will have dreams where you will see individuals waving you and saying this is it it's over and you will wake up and see your life change hallelujah it's a ministry of signs and wonders i bless you in the name of jesus may the lord increase and multiply you in the name of jesus for those worshiping with us for the first time we really love you we are just trying to work with time maybe on tuesday or wednesday we'll take our time to honor you in the name of jesus let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. You have gathered your people from everywhere. Lord, you have called for a solemn assembly in this land. Please visit the land. Please visit everyone represented. Let there be the triumph of light over darkness. Lord, turn people's situations around in strange ways tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'd like you to hug two or three people and tell them you are in for a strange experience. You are in for a strange experience. Please be seated. Hallelujah. I must take out time to appreciate um, the very unusual overflows that we have tonight. It's very strange. Hallelujah. And for me, when I saw that it wasn't it wasn't just something to rejoice as it were, but it became a burden to me. People never leave their homes and we made an extra arrangement for four overflows but right now we are making arrangement i don't even know if the fifth one will be enough you see brothers and sisters let me tell you something with the holy spirit don't ever ignore him i want to talk a little about him we have ignored the holy spirit to our shame and to our peril We have been indoctrinated by a civilization that makes the holy spirit look like an inconvenience to us but it is mighty when god comes to work with you your life becomes a wonder even to yourself hallelujah please i want you whilst you are seated open your heart and cry to god say god don't let me go back the way i came please pray everywhere any of the overflows go ahead and pray don't let me go back the way i came
please pray father i came tonight to take an anointing for my ministry let me not go back the same way i came tonight to have the gifts of the spirit activated i came for my business i came for my family lord let me not go back the same oh, 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 oh. Destiny, the, the exalter of those who trust. Make sure you are praying to Him. Mm. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Tonight is a very strange night. I've spent the night praying on these oils that you see. And I tell you the truth, what it will work in the lives of people will surprise them. I promised that I was going to take a few testimonies and I wasn't able to come as at the time, but I understand that there are a few very striking testimonies. Please let me have the, the details just... Okay, go ahead. Hallelujah. Um, this is Usman Augusta. Okay. Jennifer, Jennifer John Oleku. Where is that? I hope they can hear outside. Please, if it's your name, ushers guide them very quickly so they can. Samaila Chindo. Grace Herman, you can put your hands together for them as they come. Gloria Jaja and um, Fatima Abubaka Besson. Okay, the following. Would you repeat it, please, one more time? Usman, Augusta, Jennifer, John, Oleku, Esther, Samaila, Chindo, Grace, Heman, Gloria, Jaja, and Fatima, Abubakar. Are they here? Wherever you are, please, very quickly, make your way to the front. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. While we wait for them, I hope they are around. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. This is Jesus speaking to the disciples now. And he said, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. He says, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the utmost part of the earth. Very, very interesting. He says, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come and he never said that power will make you a preacher he never said that power will make you a prophet he never said that power will make you an apostle he said that power that you receive will make you a witness a witness listen very carefully i'm teaching now are we together now a witness is not a prophet a witness is not an apostle a witness is not even a man of god a witness is an individual who has been authorized to prove that Jesus did not lie. Are we together? When it talks of witness, that's all right if, if they are not around or they are not within the vicinity, that's okay. We can continue with what we are doing. A witness is one whose assignment is to prove the validity of a statement. Is a defender. Are we together now? It's a legal terminology like you go to the, the court of law and you are asked, do you have a witness? At the point where whatever action was taken, was there an individual who can attest for you? Now, remember we were not there when Jesus died. But the Bible says there is something that the Holy Ghost can bring to our lives. Are we together now? And it says that anointing, that power can make us witnesses validators validators 
of the claims of jesus listen without a system for validating the claims of jesus there is no reason to be a christian are we together now yes it matters that the claims of jesus be validated in the life of the saints and in the territories where they are domiciled it matters that men know that this jesus that we seek and this jesus that we serve listen carefully is not just a mirage he's not a doctrine he's not just theology that he's alive and lives forevermore and there is the power that makes us validators are we together now it says we shall receive the power i hope that you people are not coming out of any pressure please make sure you are not are we together now if we just have two of them that's okay they can just it's just a token um of the testimony so that i can fulfill whatever it is can we pause for a moment and and, and then let's hear their testimony come my dear just tell us quickly i don't have your name here praise the lord my name is jennifer john oleku for four to five years now i have a lump in my right breast but after the prayer last night, this morning I was dressing and then I checked myself. It was gone to the glory of God. Completely. The lump. How long? Yes. Four to five years. You checked this morning. Yes, sir. And it's gone completely. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. We do not take for granted. You know, you people are so used to miracles in this place. When something happens, you just laugh and um, never get familiar with the presence of God. It says that, um, how did he put it now? I, I'm trying to remember a scripture that the Bible put. Um, Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. I can't remember the, the, the quotation, but I remember the verse. Philemon 1 verse 6. Give it to us. There's no point struggling when we can read it. Philemon 1 verse 6. Can we have it? okay i'll just turn there i just wanted to encourage us with that scripture one moment my dear and i'll pray for you philemon chapter one and verse six that the communication of your faith might be effectual by the what acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ so the communication of your faith is effectual when you take note of the slightest thing God does. Lord, I had a headache yesterday and all of a sudden it's not there now. The Bible says it can boost your faith. The communication of your faith is made effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing. There was a lump on my breast and now I've checked and it's not there. While I'm trusting God to give another miracle, I do not ignore what he has done. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus, may the Lord perfect you. Never, never returns again in Jesus' name. Come, my dear. Let's give Jesus praise for her. Go ahead. Your name and your testimony. Praise God. My name is Gloria Farga. Yesterday, you prayed about those I can't hear with your right ear. After the prayer, I was able to hear. Couldn't hear with your right ear. You're sure? How long? 20 years now. Um... How old are you now? Do you mind? <laughs> Hallelujah. Interesting. And, and for that long, for 20 years, what happened? Just that pin in me. And, and that was it. And right now you can hear with it. Which of them? It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. The same way the Lord opened your ears, may every part of your destiny be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus praise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we were discussing Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Now, while Jesus was on earth, please follow me carefully. While Jesus was on earth, the Bible lets us know that he lived an invincible life. He lived a life of power he lived a life of intelligence he lived a life of grace he lived a life that was full of the spirit and when you begin to read john 15 john 16 jesus began to tell us please listen that he was going to introduce us to another comforter 
another helper now most believers read this and they just think that okay he was just talking to pentecostals please listen you have to understand this for what we are doing tonight to make sense are we together those outside are we together and so jesus said to them i have many things to tell you now but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you notice now jesus is teaching he will guide you into all truth he will take of the things that are mine and reveal to you the bible said it's the holy spirit that convicts the world do you know one of the things that i've learned about the miraculous is that miracles on their own never never change people are we together the disciples saw every kind of miracle in the ministry of jesus and even when he resurrected the bible says some doubted they saw the sick healed they saw the dead raised they saw whatever would happen happen but they had the effrontery to doubt jesus the scribes and the pharisees they were represented at every crusade yet with what they saw they still doubted jesus without the presence of the holy spirit there is no genuine conviction that's why you can see people clap over fantastic miracles carry the testimonies around town and never change themselves they are celebrators of the finger of god but they are never benefactors of that grace so jesus began to teach us that the holy spirit has a ministry to believers he has a ministry to unbelievers and jesus said that he will reprove the world the fallen system of men of sin of righteousness of judgment and then to the believers he will guide them in all truth he will do this and that the bible began to tell us all the things that jesus would do now let me tell you this one of the things that i have discovered is that most believers cannot separate between the present day ministry of christ and his ministry while he walked on earth are we together now and so most people still wait on jesus to do what he has left the holy spirit to do for us you have to listen to what i'm teaching you now are we together now jesus said it is expedient advantageous for you that i go why so that the comforter the helper the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man the helper will come the helper will come that means jesus was saying come jesus was saying he that told i represent the presence and the ministry of the holy spirit to you but shortly i'm going to go away but i will not leave you comfortless is that true someone else will come to hold your hands and continue is the greek word alos paracletos the word alos means of the same kind heteros where we get heterogeneous means of another kind another species so another person is coming and he is no different from who i am in terms of ability in terms of purpose in terms of function he says when he comes he will continue my ministry everybody say continue my ministry so the holy spirit today represents to the body of christ what jesus represented to the apostles are we together most people jesus help me jesus save me i know that it looks emotional but jesus has no business helping you and saving you today he has already done that he's seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for the saints that's the limit of his ministry now the personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice his plan is the holy spirit are we together now yes you pray to the father agreed you pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to work with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the holy spirit it's not that they don't believe in him they know he's somewhere one of the godhead somewhere and he's on earth if you are interested if you want power go to him and since i'm not a preacher i know he's just there if that is your understanding about the holy spirit you will never become victorious weak people feeble people 
But the Holy Spirit came upon their lives and turned their lives into signs, turned their lives into wonders. They shook their generation. The Bible says time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Look at these ordinary women. And in our generation, we talk of women like Catherine Kuhlman, people like William, um, 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 what's his name, Seymour, and all of these great ordinary people born like any other entity. But when they encounter this personality and they dare to trust him, look what he did with their lives. The Holy Spirit can change anybody's life. My life is a testimony. Don't trivialize the Holy Spirit. He will make a wonder out of your life. If you're with me, say amen. amen. We have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Pastors have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There's no ministry without him. What are you teaching? That's the reason why we have too much talk with no demonstration of the validity when i talk of demonstration i don't mean falling down and rolling no i'm talking about the life producing power it says when i came to you i did not come with the excellency of speech but the demonstration of power that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men sophia but on the power of god we have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people and we men of God keep proposing. Do you know what, how dangerous it is to keep whetting the appetite of people about what God can do and then they never come into that experience? There is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness. The waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end. And you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression. Are we together? The Holy Spirit takes ordinary people and turns them into wonders. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. Please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. The Holy Spirit is for all believers. He is a real person. He can be known. He can be related with. It's just that we have not been taught. We've not been taught the usefulness of his person. The Holy Spirit today represents the unlimited presence of Jesus. He represents the power of God. He's the manifestation of the glory of God. The Holy Spirit is so powerful. He turned Jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman. What can he not turn? In Genesis chapter 1, when you read, the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then when you read verse 2, the Bible says, Now the earth was dark and formless and all of that. Just like the lives of several people. Dark, void, formless, scattered, families scattered into pieces. And the Bible says, He's the creative force that began to hover around. And then God spoke, Let there be. And there was. And he said it was good. Remember, the goodness of God cannot be seen outside of the Holy Spirit. The only reason why it became good was because of the Holy Spirit. I look at my life today and I imagine what a failure I would have become without him. It's not about oratory. No, it's his presence. We are all gathered today, scattered around and people following, connected from all over the world today from this location because of the holy spirit when you believe him in your life sister he will turn you into a wonder i'm telling you this when you believe him in your life this is not the issue of being a christian this is an issue of saying holy spirit you were sent by jesus to be an extension of his ministry everywhere you see the name jesus in the experience of the disciples you can safely replace it with holy spirit aside from salvation the work of salvation on the cross when there was no wine they ran to jesus so when there is no beauty and freshness in your life you run spirit of the living god you represent jesus for me jesus is not physically here in cana but i come to you and he says i you are correct i can bless you when jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle he said why sitest thou idle they say no man employ us he said go and a job came so you go to the holy spirit and say spirit of the living god this joblessness you represent jesus to me 
an extension of the ministry of Jesus. When the tribute, remember Jimmy's powerful teaching, when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life, it was Jesus that instructed Peter, go to the fish. And now you run to the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, my finances. There are bills to pay. I don't know what to do. I come to you. An extension of the ministry of Jesus. Are we together? Yes. Everything, literally, that Jesus was to the disciples, to the then civilization of man, is who the Holy Spirit is to us today. It's who the Holy Spirit is to us today. Jesus sent the disciples and told them to go two by two and they returned in power. They said, Master, even the devils were subject to us through thy name. And he said, do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name. Rejoice because your name is written in the book of life. This is Jesus speaking. So now, when you need empowerment, to go and represent Jesus because he is not there physically you go to the Holy Spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting I'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes there are deaf ears there are all kinds of people the power of the Holy Spirit we're going to talk about power shortly but I'm introducing the person of the Holy Spirit it has been my cry for years that there be a generation that not only seek God as a hypothetical reality but that you can come to the Holy Spirit Facebook has taught us that you can relate with someone without seeing his face like some of you have friends you've had friends for years you've never seen their faces yet you have even been connected to their emotional impulses you know when they are angry you know where they are happy yet everything was through chatting it is possible to know a man without seeing his face hmm. how could you do ministry without the holy spirit what are you preaching sister how could you dare get married without the holy spirit what do you want to do in that marriage? Give birth when there is a wicked devil that wants to close your womb. Brother White, you want to get married without him? Don't you know that marriage is a triangle? He is the first person and then you and the wife are under. You go, two of you like a string, you are in trouble. When two of you are apart, it is him that brings you back. The Holy Spirit. People do business without him. We carry our pride all around believing that we are educated and we ignore him. And we watch our wisdom fail in the presence of circumstances. How many preachers just come out with our accolades and we believe I have experience. I've been in the ministry for 30 years and it's very clear there's no result in our lives. Listen, I'm reintroducing the person of the Holy Spirit. You may have experienced his anointing but do you know him? Do you know him? He is the secret behind this ministry you see. This young man standing before you is dangerously in love with him. He is the secret behind this life that you so see and admire. For he truly brings beauty out of your life. 32 verse 15 Isaiah until the spirit be poured upon Joshua Selman from on high and then this life that is an utter wilderness now becomes counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest he truly brings beauty and glory I'm not asking you whether you are educated I'm not asking you whether you can speak English I'm not asking you whether your father is in politics I'm asking you do you know him He's brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. You are brooding. Over all my darkness, you are causing lights to shine from dark. 
you see listen listen brothers and sisters let me tell you something we live in a society where nobody believes in you don't sit down getting angry that they don't believe in me they deserve to not believe in you but you ignore them and walk with the holy spirit give him time and watch the wonder he will produce he met a young virgin called mary and said mary the angel came on his behalf just believe and watch what will happen that you can be pregnant without a man that it is possible that because you did not have the privilege to have a godfather somewhere can anything good come out of nazareth and the holy spirit says hold my hand and he said lord i can't even talk like moses don't worry hold my hands and he turns you into a sign and a wonder and people say is this not the lady we used to know beauty and glory that you in a little one room somewhere you are still struggling to raise seven thousand and pay but you bring the holy spirit i don't have a big house but i invite you into my room i tell you his presence will squeeze you out of that room and take you where it looks like him that's the holy spirit for you he's the lifter of men this thing is not magic it's not just prophecy I'm telling you this listen to what i'm telling you if you are a man of god here or you are called into ministry or you have the call of god upon your life listen twice close down any ministry when you don't know his presence because you are on the way to utter frustration i know this about him he's brooding over all my darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark Lord you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark I remember in 2004 standing and witnessing crowds like this in Reinhard Bonke's crusade I saw what the Holy Spirit could do with a young German, not so educated, not so fluent. He didn't have, even have a lot of rema. He didn't have it. My God, but I saw a presence. I saw miracles. I saw transformation. I saw people who should not be in that crusade ground. You will know he brought them there. And I said, this is what I want. How could I do ministry and be lying to people and begging people? I don't think I'm as smart as people require for ministry i don't think i'm as intelligent as people require for ministry so i ran to him cover my shame cover my shame i may not have the opportunity to have been born by a billionaire i didn't have the privilege that society demands but cover my shame lord i admit that i'm weak and the holy spirit said hold my hand let's go let me tell you, it was a vision. This is where this ministry was birthed. By Sunday, Koinonia will be seven, uh, seven anniversary of Koinonia. But let me tell you this. I remember I was standing in that vision. I was standing and I saw a whole generation of people. They were crying. It was fear that took me there to that building. And I stood, I was watching. I could not see the end of the people. And I said, what is this? And then some of them were murmuring and they were saying there's no food and there's no water and then i said who is the cause and all of them were pointing to me and say you are the reason why we do not have food and water and i said kai i have to go out and rescue this generation but i was afraid because there were wicked men outside waiting for me all of a sudden i took a bold step as soon as i opened the door I saw a giant man waiting and he said hold my hands let's go and that's how we started jumping building after building i remember one time i he jumped a building and was waiting and smiling waiting for me to come and i said if the secret is holding your hands then may my hand remain with you forever when that was happening you were not there but you were in the loins of prophecy please i i i don't know how to beg you don't ignore what the holy spirit can do in your life this power and these miracles you see is not just chasing around and saying lay hands on me god is not a fool walk with him and watch him surprise you walk with him 
I remember those nights when I would just find a corner and just be praying individually. You know, when I see young ministers now and this our appetite to be known, appetite to be seen, I just nod my head and I say, these gentlemen have missed it. Little power, they want to be recognized everywhere. They want to be known. Invite me for meeting. Call me apostle. Don't call me brother. It's nonsense. When his power smears you, even to the father's part, they said they shall call you. You won't call yourself. They shall call you ministers of our God. There will be an evidence of his hand upon your life. I remember the first notable miracle that happened of a gentleman. Then phones just came out and they were making calls. Somebody whose spine was fractured. Remember that miracle? The guy's spine was broken into pieces completely. And all of a sudden, it was with that call. It was in the night. I was going to browse and then pray. And all of a sudden, I called that gentleman with a bracelet. Confirmed here. And I think then it was um, the other place there. And all of a sudden, with just one single prayer, brothers and sisters, that gentleman removed that thing and ran to his mother. The only thing I had was Jesus. The next day, the way you gather for funeral, that's how they gathered in that house. The father had the boy was healed. They said, who did this? They said, it's one brother, Joshua, not apostle. All these showmanship people move around today. They don't pray. They don't fast. No mentorship. They don't listen to anybody. They just brag around saying, I saw a vision. I had a dream. I saw a ministry. Sit down and walk with him. Don't ignore him and look for fame. You would die young. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. You are brooding, yeah. over my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. I will never forget one day when I, I spoke to the Holy Spirit about my financial issues and he said forget about that a time will come when God visits you he visits you completely there are times he says forget just you are walking leave the issue of finances let me work on you otherwise the finance thing will kill you there are people where you start with God there is there should not be mention of power in your dealings with God you will see God flogging an aspect. You can come to church, we teach about something else. When you are done, the Holy Spirit will say, save that book. We'll talk about it next year. Let's go back to what we are discussing. And you will see him talking about something that has no business with the subject matter. Allow him to work on you. Jesus. Jesus. When he's done with you, and he brings beauty and glory out of your life, you will look at yourself, and you will be afraid. You say, Lord, is this what you planned? Look at a poor village girl like me. Look at a poor village boy like me. And he says, that's exactly what I want to do. To show that there is this treasure in earthen vessels. To show that I can take the weak things. Oh God, I'm a poor girl from Kaduna State somewhere. Lord, I'm an illiterate somewhere in the south. He says, don't worry. Hold my hands. Don't al allow the proud system of the world that think they are the alpha and the omega of growth and rising walk with me do you know we have ignored the holy spirit so much where you talk about him like this people just look at it from the lens of intellectualism i'm not against that and they just look wow impressive sermon he's brooding over all your darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding you are over every darkness. You are causing, you are causing light. light to shine from darkness. There are people who were looking for money when we were seeking his presence. Till today they have not found it. Till today. They would never focus on him because of money. 
there were people who could not settle down they were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and pa and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence till today till tomorrow they are still struggling some of them are not even in the faith again please hear me koinonia let's settle down with the holy spirit let not just because you are a leader not just because you are a worker settle down with the holy spirit and say holy spirit i'm not in a rush with you do with me whatever jesus would have done with me and you watch what you will become the holy spirit will turn your life around turn your wilderness you will look at yourself one day and say is this me lord what is this that you have done when gentiles begin to come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising do you know because of the way the lord began to lift me and because of the way the lord began to lift this ministry i prayed a prayer i said lord i want to ask for a favor from you please do not show me the full impact that i'm making in the lives of people don't show me how far i have risen in the eyes of people just show me a token so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow because i don't want anything to distract me let me not hear that there are 12 millionaires in america who listen to my messages every day and then you now say wow 12 millionaires in america that means i'm becoming a big man uh -uh. so god helps you by concealing the extent of your impact you are changing lives all over but you never know how far because he wants you to continue is god speaking to us why have we lived our lives without him let me just talk on three things thank you thank you doctor very quickly before we pray three ways the holy spirit works with believers three ways number one the first ministry of the holy spirit in working with a believer is supplying divine direction divine direction guidance guidance and direction guidance and direction let me show you something that i found while i was studying exodus chapter 23 and verse 22 powerful scripture exodus chapter 23 exodus 23 23 he said but my angel shall go before thee and bring thee into all of these people and i will cut them off my angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the holy spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Hamorites, the hittites the perizzites the canaanites the hivites and the jebusites and i will cut them off i'm giving you victory but that victory will be through divine direction we will go step by step guidance by guidance place by place notice how god led people in scripture he took them from one place they would conquer this land then they would go to this land many lives many lives and many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way the bible said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man a preacher a businessman a father a mother he says but the end thereof are the ways of death my angel will go before you and guide you moses said do not let we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us he says my presence will go with you and i will give you rest notice every time his angel his presence his angel his presence and when he leads them they return with great and strange testimonies many of us are yet to explore the leadership of the holy spirit let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the holy spirit never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you this our world of hurry for everything i just I, I just feel 
that my job is in uk you go to uk and live like a thief there whereas god has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are he will lift you but because he could not direct you there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to america by running to wherever or running to abuja running to different places divine direction when god directs you it was never my intention to still be in zaria at this time no as wonderful as it is if it were on my own i would prefer to be somewhere maybe in one of the cities around the world but divine direction divine direction when you read genesis chapter 26 the bible says and isaac sowed in that land i'm sure that isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine and god said no 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 for others they can go but for you the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction we do not respect his leadership he says the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want i shall not want the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want there are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the holy spirit very powerful isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 isaiah chapter 30 let's hurry up quickly isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer isaiah 30 okay it says and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying read with me everyone this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when ye turn to the left that god will guide you on your way going he said this part looks good but this is not for you he said lord but other believers are following it he said that's it's all right but for you this is the part wait on me sometimes he can say mark time and remain in one place lord but others are going he says don't worry you are still moving you don't move because your legs are moving you move because my word is moving you so even when you think you are standing in one place it says you are moving because when you turn you see that you have gotten there you shall hear a voice from behind you hear me people of god you shall hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way oh you have a job but let him lead you let him guide you when god leads you he defends you where he has led you the, there are many preachers today in regions that god did not send them and they are struggling as if they are not anointed there is a place prepared for you only god guides you there when he sends you to your prepared place everything follows you favor follows you his mercy follows you ease follows you difficulty can be a proof among other factors that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the holy spirit in this kingdom we excel through divine direction not just efforts the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because your rod and your staff they comfort me stop living your life without the guidance of the holy spirit you can't live your life and be guided by movies guided by all kinds of godless books guided by individual opinions guided by cultural opinions it's time to return back and say holy spirit guide me if you are not in this let me get out three days before koinonia will start this 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 aspect of the ministry's activities three days i went back for a retreat to reconfirm from god lord are you still the one or is my ambition if god ever said i'm not the one that's it it's just to apologize i'm sorry i thought i had god but he's not the one never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize god is not in it sometimes is this our pride that keeps us in trouble when you find out that oh i used to think god was in this but now i'm realizing from growth that god was not we still come down and say how will people really know don't put yourself in trouble everybody say divine direction 
let me just give you one quick secret on how you see you must understand the voice of god this is generally speaking you must understand how god speaks i just need to give you one one direction just one scripture that i found that really blessed me john chapter 10 verse 35 the voice of god must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation remember the bible says the kingdom of god is in three things righteousness peace and joy the moment these three forces coexist the kingdom of god is within that environment and here's what the bible says it says if he called them gods unto whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be broken your experience will not break scripture it says the word of god came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them the word that came to you and the word that is written must agree the word of god came to them by revelation but the scripture can still not be broken because the word of god came so the speakings of god will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what god is speaking about you may not find a direct scripture for it but the character of how, how god operates must be consistent are we together most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell and they say yes lord from the beginning of the voice to the end of it it contradicts everything god please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of god are we together yes if you look at me now and prophesy to me and say apostle i saw you having an accident tomorrow i keep quiet and hear you if you stop there you didn't hear god because the spirit of god will never stop there if it is it may be true that you saw an attack but then continue it to prove that it is god i saw an accident but i am speaking by the power of god's word to stop it but i saw an accident and that's it no sir no sir no sir i saw that your wife is a witch congratulations uh -huh. continue let me hear that's it that's all just leave her no sir that's not god god does not speak like that if you claim to be a man of god and your wife is a witch you are foolish you are not anointed it means you are not even a man of god because your ministry should be demonstrated day and then the validity of your anointing should be proven there let's be careful we have ignored scripture and so all kinds of words you see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of god the devil uses the faces of people when god wants to lift you he will now try to use a face of a man of god or somebody you respect and come to you and press you and you get up in ignorance and say ah, you do not know that satan can masquerade as an angel of light the bible already gave you that information I must balance this issue of the voice of God because Satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture. We are so passionate about the prophetic, which is important, but we must balance it. Especially for we who are men of God. There is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent. There are things I've seen about people. I know that it's an attack from Satan but i also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them it will destroy their faith so i withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them god sends the word your maturity guided how it was delivered say the voice of god please let's be careful i'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic i'm not teaching you to be cynical i'm not teaching you to see a man of god making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them but please let's be careful because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of satan we get up and we hate everybody we hate every man of god every woman of god because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell 
he said even if an angel brings another gospel that means satan can masquerade as an angel of light is one of the greatest reasons why men of god should pray before coming on the stage i'm not praying when i come on stage for miracles to happen with all humility i will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here and the goat is bleaking and you see people falling under the anointing you will think it's charm that's anointing but the accuracy of delivery is why we pray that oh god superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people that's why we pray we don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen the anointing is there to make it happen are we learning something the voice of god must never um must never relegate the written word of god in your life the second way that the holy spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies everybody say divine strategies say it again divine strategies we win in this kingdom through mysteries but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy go and read it when you go home joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to i think 21 or thereabout verse 1 to 21 21 verses talks about how jericho was destroyed it was not just destroyed because god was powerful it was destroyed to a divine strategy nowhere in the bible was that strategy used again are we together when you stand before the challenges as a ministry i remember when this ministry was starting i went to god and i cried to him i said lord what there is a general financial strategy but what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody and here it came it was revealed another ministry may try it and it may never work for them there are ministries if you sell free materials I mean if you give free materials like your sermon and the rest there may not be any other avenue for revenue there are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing you must receive a divine strategy lord in this marriage what is the strategy for training our children in this marriage what is the strategy for living in peace you can get the general communication but you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy. Lord, in this ministry, what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency? Say divine strategies. That's the Holy Spirit for you. So he leads you divine guidance and direction. Number two, he gives you ideas, strategies. When you stand before any mountain, let me give you an advice. Like the mountains that stand before you tonight. Don't be afraid. There is a strategy. God has given us the strategy for tonight. Is that true? God decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody, I will work wonders and strange results. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. So he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery. This oil was in my room all through the night. Soaking in the presence and the glory of God. It's a strategy. Are we together let me tell you one of the ways i prayed on this it was in a, in a big it wasn't like this i literally opened it and i was confessing god's word and speaking and laying hands you will think the oil cannot hear I've, I've taught you that this is a living thing this is ordinary oil but when the anointing comes the same word i'm speaking to you is the same word receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly it's more than just oil touching your head you will see what it will do in your life hallelujah mm. jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go and they were going and the water had what jesus said and it started changing to wine jesus jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves they had him and he commanded them to multiply and told the people go and start serving when they started everything was multiplying there were 12 baskets the third way the holy spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we'll pray 
so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye koinonia but ye joshua selman shall receive power kabbalah kotia power is the word dunamis you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and it shall make you witnesses unto me both in jerusalem in judea samaria and to the utmost part of the earth peter was speaking in the house of cornelius in chapter 10 and in verse 38 of acts chapter 10 verse 38 he says how god listen now how god anointed jesus of nazareth the word born on earth from nazareth but still had to be anointed to be efficient just quoting scripture does not bring you result the word must be anointed to profit you how god anointed the word with the holy ghost and with power and he went about the word see listen the written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed it is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word you want to write that down that the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it how god anointed jesus i understand how god anointed paul i understand how god anointed peter but God anointed Jesus, the word. Until then, he was the son of the carpenter. But the anointing turned him to the Christ, a sent one. And the Bible says he went about doing good. For us to understand this, we must go to Genesis chapter 1 and see the things God say are good. He calls creation good. He calls plants coming out of a barren ground good. So there are things that are, do you know the Bible says he went about doing good, comma, and then healing all they that were oppressed. So it's good to heal. It's, God, it's good to produce miracles, signs and wonders. But there are other needs in men's lives. Their finances, the assault of wickedness in their lives, the struggles that the devil tries to put them under, the yokes of bondage, the Bible calls it good. You do that with the anointing. Listen, you never bless men just because you are kind. It takes the anointing to do good. Lord, just bless me so that I can help people pay their rent. You see my heart. Your desire is not enough, brothers and sisters. There is an anointing that empowers you. Are we together now? Then you can prosper and do good. Doing good is warfare because Satan will fight it. Lord, I want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then I will rise and glorify you. That glorify you is what Satan had. Every other thing is jargon. He had glorify you and he says fight him. In his final exams, cripple him with sickness. Let something bring him down. It takes power to subdue the wicked forces that trap down the lives of men. When members come one week two weeks one month two months they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change they will not come again let me tell you don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic you look at them and say ah i didn't see you in church again say pastor i'm busy say lie there's nobody that is busy people are looking for solutions if there is no solution they will give excuse then one day they'll say please don't talk to me again i'm an adult i can choose to come to your your church or not that means they are telling you i'm tired I made up my mind that I will never be a powerless man of God. When you are a powerless man of God, you are not only bad, you are wicked. Because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men. Jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree. He ran and came there and stood. Where is the fruit?
and the three said sorry he says come and jesus cursed it in anger and said no food will come out of you again tonight we need power brothers and sisters we live in a wicked world there are some of you here in your whole family you are the first that will rise it takes power to rise there are families that when you rise an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit and there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men they dare not hear that you want to rise he's going abroad and you see an uncle just coming and say i heard that you are going to london say by the grace of god uncle say congratulations you shake his hand and they just call you somewhere you wake up the next day one leg cannot walk the other day your ears cannot hear well are we together by the friday your passport is missing powers he said through the greatness of thy power every village including my own has witches and wizards they know i'm on earth it's not that they love to leave me to do ministry power power kabbalah kotaya he said behold i give you power exousia power step into my shoes step into my office listen i'm trusting god that after tonight you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers there are some of you who cannot go to the village the last time you went what happened to you even you you were scared but now you go to the village and overnight in three hours you hear that things have you were not praying oh you carried something mysterious to that village two weeks after your arrival you see five buildings springing up a development that the devil has refused anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes after two days he's sleeping and he dies come on now the devil deceives you listen i have studied satan carefully because i didn't like the way i was afraid of him my fear of satan was getting too bad and i said no i can't be afraid of satan like this i need to settle down and study him one of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear and look at it and say what is in this thing really what is in it what is in satan that threatens people have found out the strength of satan is ignorance satan works with information he plants that seed to you so a spirit you are sleeping in your house and you hear something on your zinc that's satan now he knows and watch what he begins to do he used that experience to plant pictures in your mind what could be there hi an arm robber is there no not an arm robber the other day that's how my grandfather said anytime you hear that sound barrenness is inevitable any and listen he's working with your mind you are you are having faith in that thing the moment your faith is there because whoever believes there shall be a performance it doesn't matter what you believe you hear that thing in your zinc and get up he that cometh from above is above all jacos kata let me tell you the truth the devil will go back there are demons when they send them to people they disobey say no 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 they disobey the implication the risk involved in that espionage is too risky devilish habali somewhere they carry your name because a brother say wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a habalist and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound Go and ask them and nothing shall by any means whatever i do against god has nothing to do with satan this is between me and god the law is nothing shall by any means so that you don't just say i was angry i shouted at my wife today hey, hey, hey. satan is coming you are joking my shouting at my wife is god i owe an apology as for you the casting remains so regardless of the condition nothing shall by any means listen to me i'm preaching to you don't let satan deceive you 
No, sir. God is not like that. We have misrepresented him. And it has given access. Access for the devil. Jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple. And went straight for a crusade. And casted out all kinds of devils. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? The anointing. It is the anointing that brings favor. It is the anointing that brings increase. There are some of us, anything they give you remains like that forever. There is no potential of growth. I have seen people in my life, listen, I have seen people in my life that have been surprised. You see them 10 years ago, you see them 10 years later, and Ichabod, the glory has the, they are still the same way. Same house, same room, same financial level. I say, ah, Luther continua. Victoria is scattered. That's a cause. Never say that thing. The Bible said the path of the just. It takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in. Someone just sees you and says, uh -uh, you are the last born in a family of 12. What audacity do you have to say you will feed us? There are families where it's the women that feed the men. Do you know that? No matter how hard working, you rise up as a man, something must happen to crash you. Shout no way. Haba, there are families the men never reach 50 they must die and leave the children for the innocent women you see women old women in a place where are the men some of you they've already told you that the moment you are 25 there is a stranger that comes to you there is a secret nonsense marriage in fact there are some of you you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents you still have rings and the rest and now you are born again and you are now asking those demons have refused to go there is something you can engage in let me tell you that will shatter that yoke into pieces when i discovered who satan really was i stopped wasting my time i said so this is what has made me afraid you are not even the worst of all spirits come on now satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives he loves it when he's magnified out of proportion now don't get me wrong those who claim satan is cheap and he just give away i hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals to ignore satan just as a result of pride and say i can just quote his scripture he will eat you up and spit you out don't get me wrong satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years it is through knowledge that the just is delivered not through bold face for nothing are we together listen nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes you have to believe this hmm. time will never change anything in your life time will never change anything in your family time will never change anything in your marriage Time will never change anything in your body. When God wants to help you, he introduces the anointing. The Holy Spirit, the custodian, the conveyor of the anointing. Are we together? In the Bible, when men encountered the anointing, it spelled a change of story in their lives. It was very clear that when the anointing came upon them, it was time. Ordinary people in the Bible, Aaron and his sons, Moses, Joshua, down the line, when the anointing came upon them, they changed in strange and mysterious way. Someone is changing tonight. Someone outside is changing tonight. You, you may be among the crowds, hear me. Some of you are even at the overflow there. You are just standing and watching and saying, God, could you be talking about me? Yes, sir yes ma he's talking about you don't mind what they have said about you let the anointing come on you and you will watch your life brothers and sisters change in a way and manner that will surprise you i have seen what this anointing can do to people i have seen people change in supernatural ways this anointing can translate to the power to get wealth that in two weeks two weeks 14 days a man's life can change he will be like god what is this what is this a gentleman shared with me one of one of my boys shared with me um a, a story very very touching 
uh, testimony the mother had been following this and i think it was just yesterday night or so the mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was read i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head you can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or or cook rice and just say love blah, 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 just and rub on your head and you just rub something to make your skin moist it doesn't produce it, it, oil is not a charm this jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed so it's not just because there is a jar of oil are we together now the jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed many people idolize oil idolize it, the, those things in themselves don't give you any power it takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed tonight brothers and sisters i agree with god for you that your life will change tonight i agree with god that there will be expansions and explosions what will this anointing do to you tonight or do for you tonight number one this anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor write it down you need to know what the anointing will do because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings but what was spoken into the oil you have to believe it god has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days favor is real favor can happen to anybody anybody strangers can arise to favor you yes sir you can have money and not have favor that you have money does not mean you have favor favor is not about money coming favor is about men coming and whatever they come with that includes money but not left for money alone if you have money and you don't have men coming to your life you don't have favor favor is known by the strange coming of men to come and meet your need not to come and inconvenience you the second thing that this this anointing this impartation that is coming upon you is a strange grace for multiplication it's called the meme shark anointing please believe it there is a grace that can come on a man's business upon his career upon his ministry and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice it gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit it's true can turn a musician's life around can turn a businessman life around can turn a preacher's life around you are there seated and god do you know I don't know how many times I've had these testimonies. Some of you listening know it's true. How many times angels appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave. They come as human beings. A service is going on or after a service, give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go. Angels don't just act as if they are foolish. They act in response to what the Holy Spirit tells them. The anointing is the director of how and why angels function. Understand this. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Listen. The third thing this anointing will give you is unusual influence. Please believe it. Influence is not something you bully people to get. Influence is not an issue of age. Influence is not even an issue of I've traveled abroad. There is an oil. 
there is a grace he said because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness even God thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows there is an anointing that can give a man influence there is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries you are the last born but God gives you a voice listen you know one man of God was talking to me one time and said, Apostle, how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands? And I tell him, you can't look for those people by putting CV. There is an anointing that draws people. That draws a kind of people. You will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry. It's not pride. I'm telling you the secret today. It's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good. Come. No. There is an anointing that brings them. When that anointing comes upon you, God can bring just five people to your life that will give you what 10,000 people cannot give. It's not always about quantity. It's about quality. God will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life. The grace for influence i have seen how men of god have ignored this grace and they have tried to bully men of god they have tried to bully others they have tried to usurp on young people you are my son you are my daughter by force you are my this just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb it's not about all those things it's not about being mean you see me greet people here after service i'm hugging the children because this influence and honor is an anointing it's not by doing bold face and acting look i don't play child's play all that one is is is, is complex when that honor is on you people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you the anointing brings loyalty in a strange way that's why god must make sure you work with him so you don't take advantage of people listen people don't just become loyal to a man just because no 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 it's not about giving people money you can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow loyalty is not just by faking it's not even by wearing good clothes you can wear anything you want to wear there is an anointing politicians know this that's why they go to herbalist and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal there are great leaders who oppress people pastors who oppress church workers they are looking for loyalty you are praying for somebody you hear somebody say ah Jimmy is praying for me no i'm the only one you am the boss in this place that's insecurity this grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder i have seen what people has have done to this young man talking to you i've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshiping me influence influence it's not by manipulation there is an anointing that brings for influence and it's with all humility i say it you don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster one single handbill not for anything yet there are people there sitting on the fence look at the people that have come sitting on the fence five overflows there about seated everywhere over 47 nations of the world brothers and sisters it takes an anointing it's not just grammar i'm not the smartest preacher i'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation i pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you hallelujah i travel all the time with the head of department of media and there's it's always a team of uh, from worship team media and then the protocol and he asked me a question i think it was early this year he said why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and i told him i said it's not necessary it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um for lord or snapping with this person and i say oh you mean this guy he has met the vice president he has met this all those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing if this thing is on you bar it's on you period if it's not on you it's not there 
it's as simple as that it's not about all this manipulation and so you go and borrow a jeep and sit down and say great is thy faithfulness it's not your car you are looking for respect no or you go and steal the picture of a crowd i'm not i'm not being sarcastic please don't get me wrong and say well there is a revival 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 and you carry another man's crowd and put and put pictures of somebody holding crutches whereas is why fake what can be real in your life there is a grace for influence lucifer carried it the anointed cherub that covereth he can cover a territory with his ideologies i have seen people on this earth with that anointing i have seen business people with that anointing i have seen families with that anointing hill song that's the anointing walking there you see those young boys just strumming their guitar yet you don't know what takes them all over the world there are people carrying that grace joyce mayer you listen to her and you are sleeping yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village you go to your village and see somebody reading the book and you are wondering and say my cassette my my what they call it my my cd i waxed an album i'm just a few kilometers to my village it refused to enter there there is an anointing meme shark the strange grace that's what happens to the messages that's what happens to what god is doing in this ministry do you believe that this can come upon you yes sir can come upon you number what now the fourth anointing that i believe and i trust god i trust god with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders strange signs and not just signs and wonders strange signs and wonders that through your own hands the things that god will do to you will begin to surprise you we just started the the public relations department this year and i remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone now these gentlemen love god and they are filled with the holy spirit but probably they did not it, they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray there is an anointing that can come on a rod a rod ordinary rod and it will pass the red sea there is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says sister i hear you attend koinonia i cannot meet apostle but i hear you attend koinonia and you say what is it he may be busy but let me pray he has prayed for us that grace is working say you say let's just pray and he said father i lift up my voice to you concerning this woman i hear that supernaturally they need five hundred thousand by ten o'clock tomorrow i agree with you and by 1 a.m the woman gets an alert five hundred thousand dot she will run to you and say woman of god what did you even say she won't call you sister again it takes a woman of god to produce that miracle that you can go back home and say i came back from an impartation in koinonia and your father said what does what good does that do to us go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there number one they have said your mother is dying number two they have said your other sister nothing is wrong number three they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles and you say can you just give me a few hours you carry those letters and you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of jesus they are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it and you say father in the name of jesus i agree with you i agree with you and all of a sudden by the next day that man is sleeping and an angel of the lord appears why are you doing this to my daughter behave yourself it is because of this your heaven is not closing and she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down he said let's let's make this work let's make this marriage work are we together some of you will take this anointing back to your churches and god will use it to help your various pastors you know that they are sincere some of them love god and they are crying for these dimensions but how to access it is what is not there and god says can you help that man of god he loves god but the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension signs and wonders 
supernatural signs and wonders supernatural signs and wonders the last thing that i'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity that will surprise you if you don't believe it you can write the other four and leave this one it's unto you according to your faith i have told you i am very vocal i love the lord by the grace of god and with all humility my passion for god and for the things of the spirit has been vetted by the body of christ and so when i teach about finances and i talk about this it's not in any way to promote carnality but I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension, finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry and it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully that entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life that your prayer's time will be spent worshiping god not saying oh god this rent oh god tea oh god there is no sugar and you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries oh 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 for wealth this grace for wealth if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper i've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth there is transactional wealth wealth that comes by selling your value whether your education whether uh, an idea whatever it is that you take there is transformational wealth wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact in the lives of people but the third dimension is called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of god by the finger of god all of them are important but brothers and sisters for some of us the emergencies in our lives require god showing up like the man of war that he is we are going to sing this song one more time and i want you to open your spirit truly because as this impartation happens as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray please i want you to be tired of where you are in life be tired of where your family is hey, hey. works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation 
Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father. Say it again. Father. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. I declare. That I'm tired of my current level. I'm tired of where I am. I'm tired of where my family has been kept. Tonight. By your anointing. Lift me to a new dimension. Open your mouth and begin to pray. New dimension. In ministry. New dimension. Spiritually. New dimension. In finances. Pray. Oh, Lift your voice and pray. Shakata pata kete da balata pata de to wata lata keta shiata tata shakata kete shapata keto kete shalata eli to wapa para de kete shakete kete kete berata kete 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 kwa. Hallelujah. Isaiah 10 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. Tonight is that day. And it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke, the yoke of delay. The yoke of retrogression. The yoke of begging as a generation. That yoke shall be taken from up your shoulder. Check. He said, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every cause. Every, cause. every yoke. Every, yoke. every spell. Every Every enchantment, Every enchantment over my life, over my, life. Over my, family. Over my family, I declare, I declare that, by the anointing, that by the anointing it is broken forever. Is broken. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. You're breaking. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. By the authority. In the finished work of Christ. I declare. 
to principalities, to powers, to familiar spirits, that tonight I have been called out of every tribe, every covenant, every enchantment, the sins of my fathers will no longer work in my life. I exempt myself. Lift your voice and pray. Every covenant, every enchantment. Please pray, pray. Hallelujah. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every veil. Every veil that has covered my glory. That has covered my glory. Every veil. Every veil that has hijacked my honor. That has hijacked my honor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I tear that veil to pieces. Lift your voice and pray. Cover your glory. It says arise. Shine, arise, shine, arise, shine, arise, shine, shine, Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak. I speak to every area of my life. To every area of my life. My spiritual life. My spiritual life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My body. My body. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My finances. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Family life. Family life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My career. My career. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. By the anointing. By the anointing, rise to destiny. Rise Lift to your destiny. voice and begin to pray. Every aspect of my life, rise to your place in destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's fire burning in this place. Listen. The Bible says, listen carefully. It says Saul, the son of Kish. Kish lost his donkey. It left him. It was his means of livelihood. And it left. As soon as they encountered a man with an anointing, the donkey started going back home. Are you ready to call back things that have left you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every relationship. Every relationship. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every unction. Every unction. Every access, every access that left my life, that left my life by the anointing, by the anointing, I call you back. I call you. Lift back. your voice and begin to pray. This 
business opportunities educational opportunities I call you back I call you back I call you back I call you back in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, favor, favor. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please. The specific issues that must live your life now, not tomorrow. Listen, now. If you don't have faith for it now, pray on something else. Are we together now? There are things in the Bible that say as they went. But there are things that the Bible says immediately. Listen, release your faith. I'm not a fool. Release your faith. Don't just sit down and say, can God make a wilderness overnight? Abba, we're talking of God here. If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No. You get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You're sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. There are demons oppressing you. There's all kinds of fire on your mountain. It's time for you to have a testimony. Open your mouth in one minute and tell the Lord the things that must live your life. Every one of them. Every one of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one, overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till the end of CGC fence. Overflow 3 is the main, um, the, 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 the space outside there. Overflow 4 is everything from 
the end of CGC's fence to wherever people are now. And then overflow five are those who are standing across the corner right to the other street there. That's, that's the overflow. This is what we are going to do. Please make sure that this oil comes upon you. Even if you have a child, even if the child is sleeping, just touch the child. You don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it. It's not about idolatry. Just a touch. You can take one if you like, put on your head. And Did you bring all those documents? We are going to pray. Just, just leave them. Don't worry. Leave them there. We are going to deal with them. Please be patient with me and let God surprise you tonight. Amen. Are we together now? Except it is not God that has instituted what we are doing. Some of you, you will not even be able to share the testimonies. You will watch. It will be, people will ask you, which charm did you hold? What happened to you? There are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight. You will, you will stand like this and say, so this is how God works. This thing is not trial and error. God is a God of systems. Are we together now? So I want you to agree with me as we pray. Please, no distraction. Forget about this is not husband and wife now. This is you standing between you and God. This is not neighbor. We came brothers and sisters. Leave anyone you came with. This is your destiny with God. Now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now. It's at this time where he told Elijah, if you can see. He was looking, but he said, if you can see. There are some of you, as this oil comes upon you, all of a sudden your eyes will be open. And you will see strange supernatural things. So be sensitive. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. Um, what will happen is, there are five. Five, so we can do three, three. That means three bowls here. We'll fill it with the oil. We'll keep adding. And then three outside. Please protocol work so that we can arrange it. Please, I know that there are lots of people. The protocol people are smart enough. They have been trained. Everybody will receive of the oil. Especially for overflow four and five. Please, our securities, please help us. So that we don't have any chaos. Everybody just be patient. The oil will get to you. Don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone. Be patient. Be patient. If you have a bottle of oil after service, I can pray for you on it. But for now, just cooperate. Please, let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting. Just cooperate with any official you see within your area. And in a few minutes, we'll be done. While all of that is happening, the worship team will be leading us. And then we are going to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus. Now, Pastor Jimmy will be here. He'll be standing here. Victor, um, the protocol, please coordinate it. It's going to be very fast. Um, just bring the jars. Turn them now. Turn them. Turn them quickly. Let's just fill them. 
and then we'll go to the respective places please let's be in an attitude of prayer what you're going to do is just follow as they direct you once they receive it they'll go down there someone hold the jars i believe there's still some more you just touch it on your head don't touch it on any document don't worry we are coming there you return back to your seat you are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life are we together now thank you lord jesus lord we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus so some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished as you can hold one you can stand here whoever is standing with me aaron please the rest pick it to your various places father we anoint this oil and in the name of jesus as it comes upon people let there be strange results from the main auditorium here overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five change the stories of people in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah god bless you go ahead quickly quickly please we cry holy 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 Come to Yeshua, Shekinah's here. We cry, holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, holy, yeah. holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, 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 holy. We release the sound of the heavens, sound of creation, Yahweh. We cry holy, 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 unto Yeshua, to God we Yahweh, Yahweh.
Keep praying. Don't stop. Keep praying. Shaka parakoto sutabala. I'm moving forward. Strangely manifesting the glory of God, defying all the laws of men, defying the expectations of men, rising by the spirit, rising by the anointing, rising by the spirit. Don't be tired of praying. Something is happening to you. Something is happening to you. Prophesy over your finances. Prophesy over your health. The word of the Lord is upon you. The word of the Lord is upon you. No devil can stand this impartation. The word of the Lord is upon you. No curse, no spell, no divination, no enchantment. You are breaking out at last by the spirit of the living God. The word of the Lord is upon you. Send sent by his anointing keep praying don't be tired you're doing something to your spirit man the hand of god is upon you things are shifting in the spirit doors are opening ladders have been created preaching your expectation and your results outside pray those online use the oil you have upon your head and that of your family members and begin to pray in the spirit call for the things that be not don't doubt what you are doing this is how it works don't doubt what you are doing don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time no you are not the lord will so surprise you Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I met.
Hallelujah. Hold on. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. Any point of contact, your document, certificate, whatever it is, job, sack letter, court case letter, whatever it is. He said, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known. Let your request. I want to pray for you. Listen. Let me tell you this. I have learned by the spirit. If you don't have any point of contact, you can use your hand. Your hand is the symbol of your work. Your hand is the symbol of your productivity. I have learned that everything on earth can hear. It just depends on who is speaking. Are we together? God has not called you. I know for many of us, this thing looks like is some form of, for many of us, this looks like it is some form of nonsense. Others will watch and laugh. And you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world, it's not too late. If there is nothing, write your challenge and lift it before God. And say, Lord, this thing is not giving me joy. Your certificate, whatever it is. There's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it. Please make sure you participate. All the overflows. I want to pray. I want you to believe. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, please just believe these ones. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets this thing you see is not a vocation it's not something a man chose for himself i want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit i want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you i just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree I speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of Jesus I command speed upon that document in the name of Jesus Christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you i command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of jesus christ For some of you, that which you are lifting 
is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family in the name of jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report it's a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are important as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus i command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere i decree and declare by the finger of god i call forth helpers to your life now i call forth helpers to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of jesus i mend that home right now i mend that home right now for some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of jesus i call for a replacement now For some of you what you are lifting is your atm card your checkbook or your phone as a sign in the name of jesus i declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the lord god of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you I pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry that lives will not be changed in the name of Jesus I release an anointing upon you now I release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of Jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah i'm praying for people here who are trusting god to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my god surprise you i decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to one thousand naira in your account now but in the name of jesus i put properties in your hands i put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what god can do i put properties in your hands i pray for every student here if there is any result that is not your own that you are carrying something you know i don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in 100 level 
and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of jesus by the ministry of angels i command a strange change of results a strange change of results a change of results a change of results hear me i want to pray for those who are not doing well you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now i decree and declare let an anointing right now i'm feeling it on my own head a strange anointing receive a grace for supernatural intelligence everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i pray for our dear ones i hear there's jam from tomorrow am i right from tomorrow till when from today or oh, the road jam today let's agree i'm sure you know what god does with jam in this ministry i know you have read but you need a prophetic backing let's make this thing work once and for all in the name of jesus i pray for you in a way you have never seen may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your charm may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your charm i'm praying for you any mortal man on earth who beat his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise i stand here and i answer his prayer anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered now may that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you i command the earth to open and swallow them listen just follow me few minutes and we're done if there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine i don't care where and all kinds of incantations some of us come from very wicked families in the name of jesus not only will your name come out of there both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the center may the earth open and swallow them i know you don't like what i'm saying don't mind me just let me finish praying i say again that every territory whether a village whether a town where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men that you do your best but you never move forward i command a sword of vengeance tonight i command a sword of vengeance tonight whoever has ignored you and trivialize the hand of God upon your life in the name that is above all names let there be a strange unction on you tonight an unction that will force everyone to record with the hand of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for every marriage and every home represented here listen this is a ministry where marriages don't break and won't break 
I believe in family. I believe in honor. One of the things the devil is doing is walking at tearing a nice man and his wonderful wife. They get married and the devil just gets up and comes to rubbish their lives. I'm prophesying right now in the name that is above all names. Every family in Koinonia here that is shaking. The devil in between that is shaking the foundation of that family. I curse them right now in Jesus name. Hallelujah. If there is anyone called barren, you are connected to this vision and the devil wants to disgrace you by making sure you continue remaining without a child. Not tomorrow, tonight, your baby begins to manifest. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for influence. We are rounding up. I believe in influence. Don't reject it. Don't fight it. Don't join people in a false sense of spirituality to cheat you. Influence is one of the ways the kingdom advances. I decree and declare, wherever you find your place, I command you to rise above your equals. Rise above your contemporaries. As a lecturer, rise above your equals. As a banker, rise above your equals. As a student, rise above your equals. They will seek counsel from you. They will look for the word of the Lord from your mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for our finances. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We walk through fire and through water. But thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. Listen. Listen. We are not naive about what value. There are astute business people in this ministry. There are multi-millionaire business people in this ministry. We are not in ignorance as to the fact that you can bless people and they can see what you have done. People bless me every day because they perceive that I've been a blessing to them. But there is the finger of God where for no known reason if, if I've been nice to you, you can say, ah, apostle, you changed my life. Take time, Naira. There is a reason why you blessed. You see that? I didn't sell anything to you. I just took out time to change your life and you blessed me. If you employ me and I work for you, I gave my time and my value. So in return, you give me a salary. Is that true? But when the finger of God comes, please hear me. There will be no reason, no reason, except for the fact that Jacob I love, Esau I hated. You can be sitting down and God will raise somebody to rise up. Listen, not only bless you once, but say, I want to make this an addiction, a habit to bless you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You have seen the money that came through your skill. Congratulations. Where is the one that came through the finger of God? You should be able to look at your finances and know that this 10 naira came because I got a good job. Thank God for that. This one came because I blessed a life. I paid a graduate a student school fees. Now he's working and he has come back to say thank you. This one came because I have a child. The child has become responsible and he has come back to say, Mama, Nago day. But show me the one that came from the finger of God. That you know this one. Lord, I can't explain how this one came. I don't even know the name of the sender. I just saw one name or two names. The finger of God. You see, the problem we're rounding up with the body of Christ, we fight what we don't understand. And what we understand, we trivialize it. Why is God doing this thing? It's not just because we are money mongers and everybody is talking money. No, God is doing this thing as an act of his sovereignty to aid your reaching your goals fast so you can have time for him. Are we together now? You can see that CGC is doing a lot of work. By the way, um, I, I didn't even plan with them. Every single one should be part of this project. 
CGC, you can see this, this, this is a ministry that has been such a blessing to us. And honestly, I didn't even plan this with any of them. I've not even seen the pastor. As I just said this now, everybody should be a part of this. I know what the ministry, Koinonia, will do. I know what as a person I would do. I'm encouraging you. You can see our daddy prof or maybe the protocol people after the service. And you can discuss with them, how do I get my seed? 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, a million, whatever amount. And say, look, I want my seed to be here. By the grace of God, they are not looking for money to do this. God has been faithful. And they have been, you can see the items that there is just, I'm sure because of this program, they decided to suspend what they are doing. I'm just using an opportunity to tell you, whoever you are, make sure that you find a way of participating in this. But let me tell you this, there is the finger of God. And I want to pray this. Because some of our families, nobody even went to school. So there is no issue of saying, Lord, give them a job. You see mama of 70 years, which financial intelligence are you going to tell her? That our rewards in life, all that thing you are talking, she's just looking at you. What are you saying? My son, I am dying here. A landlord, a young boy of 25, wants to disgrace a woman of 70 years. By 9 o'clock tomorrow, mama, get out of my house. And she says, please help me. That one, you don't need a financial seminar. You need the finger of God. This is where most of our families are. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. I have seen this in my life. The finger of God was designed to take away shame and reproach from your life. The finger of God was designed to come through for you. Quarter to shame. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beginning from this night and all through this weekend. By men you do not know and by those you already know. Even if they have helped you before. I command strange wealth by the finger of God. I command strange wealth by the finger of God. I prophesy to you right now. Listen, I want you to believe me in the name of Jesus. A stranger you do not know. You don't even know how he got your account number. I compel them by the spirit to bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the course of this prayer and fasting a strange woman just called she sent me a text and said you don't know me but i'm a businesswoman am i talking with apostle i said yes i thought she wanted me to pray for her and he said the lord spoke to me that there is a seed that i should sow half of it to you half of it to the ministry i said madam no i don't do this i want to make sure people work with revelation why do you want to do this have you discussed this with your husband and she said sir with all due respect i'm a businesswoman i'm not a little child talking i have children that are adults so if i'm making a decision i know what i'm doing i said i'm so sorry man okay i prayed for her and sent her the text when i saw the alert of what this woman sent i sat down and i said god what is this what is this Madam, do you listen to Koinonia? No. Madam, have you ever come for Koinonia here? No. Have I ever... Madam, have you ever come for Koinonia here? No. Have I ever prayed for you? No. Did I bless you in any meeting? No. Say the finger of God. <laughs> See, most of us are used to suffering and hardship. We don't ever believe strangers can bless us. If I say, may God make your boss or your uncle, you say it makes sense because there's one money that I'm waiting for. Do you know me as a person i have seen the account number of people in dreams and god asked me to bless them they were just sitting and they saw alerts they don't even have my number to call me it's just pure obedience the same thing god has done for people towards me not everybody is disobedient god has not yet directed them to you that's why they've not responded i pray again father i cry to you this grace that you have put upon this ministry of strange supplies by the finger of God, I declare, let it come upon everyone now. Every department, from prayer department to worship team, ushers, welfare department, every worker in this house, every member in this house, those following from every nation, 
strange favor in the name of Jesus. Now, please drop your documents. Just keep your hands. Let me pray for your spiritual life. Now, this is the final thing. Please take note. I want to pray because of what will happen. I want to pray. We cannot finish this whole seven days without something happen to your, happening to your spiritual life. Something must happen to your prayer life. Something must happen to your access to light. Something must happen to the grace for miracles and signs and wonders. Something must happen to your church. Something must happen about the gift of the spirit. Some of you have not seen it in your life. I want to pray for you. Please just guide the people whether or not um, you are an usher, please. Because of what happens when I pray this kind of prayer, please. Whoever is under the anointing close to you, just help, just guide them so they don't injure themselves. Lift your hands, I want to pray. One minute and we're done. I long to see you that I might impart my God. Look at, I'm seeing flames. This is what I'm seeing all over, right to the back. Flames. Lord Jesus, I pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, the anointing, the grace for prayer and supplication. There has to be someone it is looking for. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Take it now. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Inside, outside, overflow. One, two, three, four, five. Online. I release that grace. Enter a new dimension of prayer. A new dimension of fasting. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. Lift your hands. Mm. I pray for you. You see, the seeing eyes and the hearing ears belongs to the Lord. God must give you the eyes of an eagle. The eyes that can see beyond just the letters. I pray for you. Fire will come upon your eyes. I command, may your eyes be open to the spirit of revelation. Insights to scriptures. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The gift of the Spirit was given to the body of Christ. The gift of the Spirit, we no longer respect it and so we are not established. I want to pray for you. Whether it is the revelatory gift, whether it is the utterance gift, whether it is the power gift, I tell you, I feel fire in my hands. I stretch my hands. Lord, where are they? Everyone who needs an activation of the gift of the Spirit, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, like rain from heaven, let it fall upon you. One, two, three. Take that anointing. I command the gift activated now. The gift of prophecy. Step into that dimension. The eyes that can see. I open you up to visions. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the fivefold ministry and the grace is not yet sure you are not clear tonight i pray may an unction come upon you that you will know you are called may an unction come upon you sister may an unction come upon you brother may an unction come upon you i call for the catering coolmans i call for the emmy simple mcpherson's i call you by the spirit I call for the John G. Lakes. I call for the William Samos. God's generals of our generation. Hear the clarion call in the spirit. I call you forth in the name of Jesus. Everyone in your family that has not given his life to Christ, hear me. If there is any unbeliever, it could be your father, it could be your mother. I declare, may the angel of the Lord bring strange conviction to them in the name of Jesus Christ. 
whether they are christians or not i pray that multiplied visions until they give their lives to christ every loved one who is far from here but connected to you whether they are outside this country or they are within this country the same power you are receiving tonight i declare may that same power come upon them the same result that your life will command tonight may that same result be given to them one last prayer and we're done whatever has closed the gate of speed speed in marriage speed in achievement speed in establishment for brothers in the name of jesus in this year of signs and wonders believe me between now and june i'm speaking a word of prophecy to someone achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years between now and june 2018 achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years there are people as i'm talking now you are not in any relationship but august will not meet you a single lady in the name of jesus there are young men as it is now you don't have up to 2000 naira in your account but in the name of jesus by june this year you will be having six seven figures in your account if there is anyone here called jobless between now and the end of march whether you applied for the job or not i prophesy to you get a job and be established thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head i thank you for lifting 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 my head everyone keep standing scattered across this auditorium and the environment listen we have been praying and fasting right from saturday till now there are people you're listening to me from all the overflows and even the main auditorium you know that you have not made your ways right with jesus are we together now you have not given your heart to the lord probably it was during this fasting and prayer you were invited and you began to be interested in the things of god please no moving around there are people like that now because of the crowd wherever you are except for overflow one and overflow two i mean over the main auditorium and overflow two you can come right here to the front but overflow one i will ask those who are giving their lives to christ and rededicating their lives to move to their projector stand overflow three move to your projector stand overflow four and five you can move to the projector stand of overflow two you are here you are saying apostle i want to give my heart to jesus give him everything totally or you are saying apostle i love jesus but for some reason my ways are not yet right with him if you belong to that category as everyone is clapping for you quickly we have one minute for this make your way to the front quickly quickly koinonia appreciate them inside and outside quickly quickly is this the best that you can do if you are coming please run please run please run young and old jesus is calling keep coming keep clapping for them overflow one move to your projector stand overflow three and four move to the projector stand of overflow two overflow three those online from any nation you are following it's an opportunity for you the bible says ye must be born again 
I've seen the God of wonders work miracles for me. Those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically. The mantles of the light. Ten more seconds. Oh, if you're calling quickly. I want to see the power. If you're coming quickly, quickly make your way to the front. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, everyone who is standing in front of whatever overflows or standing in front of me, lift your right hand and I want you to say this very quickly. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. Someone guide the children, they may not know what they are saying. Please, someone guide them so that they are serious. I believe in you that you are the Son of God. This night, I hand over my life to you. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I declare that forever I belong to you. I am your child. I am your son and your daughter. In Jesus name. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for these ones that Jesus died for. I stretch my hands over them and I declare their sins forgiven. I declare that the power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of the grave is broken over their lives now. That every legal access that Satan has over your life is broken, destroyed forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I empower you right now by the Spirit to live a victorious Christian life. May the Lord bless you and increase you. Cause his face to shine upon you. Lift up his countenance and give you peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, all those standing, there, there will be officials, our PR people will be around helping you. For those in here, follow the gentleman waving his hands, all of you, ladies and gentlemen, this way. Follow this gentleman. And then all the various um, overflows, just follow the person directing you. Turn to the back, you should see someone waving his or her hands. Follow them and there will be uh, people to welcome you very, very quickly.